So my echo sounder is mounted just straight on the deck GRP in the forward locker underneath this pot lid. So all it is take the lid off and this is the echo sounder here. So as you can see it's normally mounted on a pole or something and sits supposed to sit in the water but on the Hawk I haven't really found a sensible place to put it um, apart from at the back but I'd rather have an echo sounder at the front of the boat so I know I'm getting into shallower water rather than the bow hitting and then uh, the stern echo sounder telling me when it's too late. So that just sits in the pot like that. Now the pot is held in by another um, larger pot ring and um, that was just secured to the deck when it was a bit cleaner than it is now um, and that's just to stop the echo sounder from moving around the deck as I'm tacking or chopping about in the waves etc so the lid just sits on like that and that's how I mounted the echo sounder in my Hawk 20 the echo sounder cables come up from the transducer and exit through the forward bulkhead along with the power cable uh, and the battery is just held in a temporary battery box for this season in the uh, port front locker. So the echo sounder cables exit the bulkhead through just a, a deck uh, fitting. Uh, this is for power, this is for the transducer comes down through a bit of hose to protect them uh, and then to the, the fitting here. So the echo sounder, makes, echo sounder display fits on here. Power transducer cables. Now to run the plastic tube I didn't want to put any more holes in where I didn't need to so what I've done is I've used some bits of um, plastic that I had and what I've done is I've heated it up and bent it around some uh, hose and then the bits of plastic are secured to where the, the bags are for your ropes. One thing I have noticed with the transducer uh, cables for the power even with the cap on it's still getting slightly corroded there so I'm a bit dubious about that. Um, I'm not sure whether I want to try and keep the echo sounder display on the boat all the time to stop this moisture getting at the cable. Um, but we'll just have to see how it goes. So in the port locker I've got a temporary wooden box I knocked up just for a bit of protection for a 12 volt um, I think it's a motorbike battery and then also got my solar controller here um, which stops the battery from overcharging. Uh, there's an on off switch here for turning the electrics on and off and in the front I have a fuse box but at the moment I've only got the depth sounder working. Once the uh, cables are connected up this gets clipped on here and you'll have to forgive the one-handed approach there we go so that's the echo sounder in position so this is the Garmin Striker 4 display and turn the power on um, so we've got you can change what these are and I thought the most important one was just a number of the well let's have a look at it so it's a three number display at the top I've set it for depth and then the device voltage to let me know if the solar panels having trouble with the charging and then my GPS speed and they are visible from the back steering position so I can see um, what the echo sound is telling me if we go back, you can go to traditional, 
hit that and that just obviously gives me a uh, display of what it's telling me the bottom is. The scale I've got is auto set so it's got zero at the top, one in the middle and then two there so you can see the depth is roughly a meter because we're at low tide. So in front of that forward hatch I've got a tiny flexible solar panel uh, which has been on for quite a while now and um, it actually got so bad that I actually thought it wasn't going to work but what I did is I got into the connector here and replaced the cable and covered it in some waterproof gunk and it seems to be working fine so it's still giving me uh, open voltage of 20 watts 20 volts and it charges the battery to 14 volts so for checking the depth I've tied a shackle or taped a shackle on the end of a tape measure and if we put it over the side so that's that's it hit and the tape measure is telling me that that's about a meter 30 and if we go and have a look at the display that's telling me that that's a meter so the echo sounder is telling me that it's shallower than what I'm actually seeing on the tape measure but I'm quite happy with that I'd rather have it reading slightly shallower uh, than um, deeper um, the echo I have not taken into account anything like transducer depth in the echo sounder settings um, and it is slightly below water level in the forward locker um, so the reading should be shallower than what I'm seeing on a tape measure but as I said I'd rather have it shallower than deep okay I'm actually out sailing now and uh, I'm not sure whether the camera can pick it up or not uh, but I can certainly see uh, the echo sound in the it's telling me 14.7 meters 13.4 uh, just under four knots. Okay, tape measure's on the bottom and it is showing me five metres or thereabouts. And the echo sounder is currently showing me 4.8, five metres. It's changing around a bit as we swing on the mooring. So it's roughly the same. So the little offset we saw earlier, not a problem. So what we can see on this traditional display is as I rock from side to side, the depth goes up and down by about 0.2 of a metre. So there's an error right there. Okay, rocking away. See the depth going up and down. 